Hello everyone. After a few billion of years being asked to do some exercises for the Judo, finally it's happening. So today I will show you three basic exercises that you can do when you practice. So if you have 15 minutes in a day, you can dedicate five minutes to one, five minutes to another and five minutes to another. Now I will not go into depth of how we do it, but I will make more uh, emphasis on why we do it. So we will have three different exercises. One will deal with our lips. And this is of course very important for the Juidu playing. The second exercise would, will deal with our pressure. This is also very important for our exercising and for our playing. And the third will deal with our movements of the mouth. This is also very important as you have already guessed. And very often when we just go into exercising without any plan, we usually go into the same groove and usually some of these aspects are neglected. So I really love that people play what they love. This is great. This is how you enjoy. But sometimes you will not be able to develop yourself as a player if you don't touch different aspects of your playing. So the first exercise deals mostly with the lips. If you're a total beginner, I would say just play in the pulse, okay? It's very simple, but it's very efficient as well. If you um, can make it a, with a little bit of voice, you will uh, have a more rich drone, maybe you will enjoy more. Okay, so this is, if you are struggling with a basic drone, this is what you should do. But if you have a basic drone, steady, and it's easy for you, you can get it every time. The main idea of this exercise is actually to zoom in and zoom out of the sound. This means to reduce the volume to the minimum and then go back up. So you start from a steady drone where, where you can control it, and then you reduce the airflow and you reduce the amplitude in which the lips vibrate. Therefore, the sound gets much lower and much smoother, much closer to the sinus wave. And you go back to the normal volume in which you play. Okay, if you feel adventurous, you should make this exercise more challenging by totally stopping to vibrate and you just let this, this whistle kind of sound just blowing through the lips and from that blowing you return back uh, to the drone, but very smoothly. So this transition has to be like you go up and then down, one millimeter above the ground, then you uh, evaporate the drone out and then you condense back into the drone, okay? Okay, so the point of this exercise is not to go back into drone with with this push, okay, so you go gradually into it. It helps if the ditch has more back pressure, also it helps if you're relaxed, also it helps if you're using more the inner side of the lips, the soft side, so your uh, contact of the lips has to be relatively thick. Your forehead relaxed, your shoulders relaxed. Okay, you can spice up this exercise by adding voice. Um, so this is your homework. The second exercise deals with your pressure. So we will distinguish two different kinds of pulses. One will be the kind of pulse in which the lips vibrate. So you get um, a short, very short, abrupt kind of drone. Okay, so here you can easily make a mistake by doing this. And the way I showed it, you have to start and stop very abruptly. So it's like a, a box, a brick, okay, of sound. So you go 
For this you need to build up the pressure in the body. And the second type of pulse we will do without this vibration of the lips. So this will not happen. You will put the lips in a thick contact and you will press more in the corners of the lips. Then you will pull the tongue back on the palate and you will build the pressure behind the tongue. You will drop the tongue and the lips will open and close once. This will create the sound. It will create more um, clear kind of sound, more like a drum. So it sounds like this. So yes, you're using the tongue, but the tongue doesn't go forward. Okay, the tongue keeps blocking the air back. Um, now we will alternate with these two sounds and we will put very simple rhythm one two three one two three one two and on each one we will put the drone sound okay the vibration sound on two and three we will do this non-drone sound okay so it sounds like this So it sounds very simple and in a way it is but if you go very precisely with your listening you will hear that every time you go from one bar to another bar you change the sound actually from each sound your sound to sound your your sound will change okay from each pulse it will be shaped a little bit differently so what you can um, do to make a challenge is that you can try to get everything as as similar as possible okay this doesn't mean the vibration and non-vibration it means all the vibrational sounds they sound the same and all the clear kind of sounds they also sound the same if you want to make a bigger challenge with this first what you can do you can speed it up I know most of you guys will do it anyway uh, if you do that try to stay also as clear as possible okay so you can make it a bit faster. What you can do is also you can change the rhythm. You cannot uh, be married to eight eights all the time. You can go, for example, 11 eights. So it would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. And you can change that. Also, if you change the position of your tongue for the count two and three, you can hit more into your lips and you can change to the toots. Okay, the third exercise is the, about the movement. The movement is the next most important aspect of the judo playing. So we will have a three phase tongue articulation ta, wa, ka. On the ta, tongue goes down, on the wa, tongue goes up, and on the ka, tongue goes back. You breathe on the wa, okay? Now, at first it may sound like too many things going on at the same time. So if you, if you cannot do the circular breathing, the continuous sound, if you cannot uh, do a steady drone, uh, you can also just pretend to be Neanderthal and having this blah 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 and do something with that you know it sounds stupid but actually as you start moving the jaw as you start moving the tongue you will get more aware of it and you will be able to control it better so this is uh neanderthal kind of um uh, this exercise the neanderthal version <laughs> It doesn't matter if you breathe or not. I breathe because I don't notice now when I breathe, so I just breathe. But if you do it a little bit and stop, it's fine as well. Now, if you notice one thing, my jaw was moving. So I was not fixed here. I was, my jaw was not welded to the, scar, to the skull as it usually is with some players, which are more push dominant. So you have to unweld this joint and this exercise helps. Now, if you have a little bit more control, I suggest that you do the actual tawaka, the, um, the exercise which we want to do. Okay. You can 
can make it more challenging by putting the voice on the ta and the tooth on the wa. Okay, so from the, in this transitional movement, you make a trumpet tone. What I notice mostly with players is that, especially with guys, is that they make more you make more mistakes because you want to go too fast too too early too soon too fast and speed is great speed is really teaching you many many things but if you are not controlled uh, in this speed in this tempo in which i just played then it doesn't make a lot of sense to speed up however to make this more fun entertaining for yourself and others you will want to speed this up okay so this can be the next step of this way of exercising Okay, and if you want to have more diversity, you can also connect it a little bit to the exercise um, type 2 that we did. So this pulses and you can alternate with this kind of pressure and movement not really alternating but combining both at the same time in this way you will have most um, distinct sound you will have a most um, differences most richness and you can learn to uh, control the mouth and the pressure relatively separately okay so if we combine a little bit what we did in type 2 exercises and now type 3 you get something like this <laughs> So it's very easy to make things very complex, okay? So uh, one should not rush with it too much, but you should explore. It's fine to try playing like this as long as you keep part of your training very, very basic. And this is what separates really good players from not so good players is the way in which ca they can do the basics. So I encourage you to go through all these three types of exercising. So the type that um, addresses your lips, the type that addresses your pressure and the type that addresses your movement and you address them separately and you keep them on a very very basic level at some point of your exercising and then you build upon it you don't just go into mixing it all together because it sounds the craziest no no you do it only after you can do each of those very very steadily very very securely very very in a very controlled manner only then you build up and this will be actually a faster way to great playing than to to start with something crazy. Okay, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email or write down in the comments below. And I will try, really try to uh, reply. And uh, thanks so much and see you next time.